Hey guys, it's Sushi here, and welcome back to Pixelmon Season 6. We are in a completely new area, a completely new town. I'm excited to finally show off for you guys. This is Ripple City. Now, it's a town that's been uh, mentioned a little bit uh, throughout the series, and uh, it's been hinted at. Uh, this is where pr the, the, the mayor of Archtown, I'm here Archibald, uh, this is where he escapes to when the incident happened and the town got demolished uh, before the series even began. Um, so this is where he escaped to, this is Ripple City, um, and I'm sure Ripple City is going to be added to uh, in the future, or worked on, or it's going to be like a, a big part of kind of the world, oh I gotta change this to peaceful so we don't lose some hunger. Um, and there's a lot to show off, I don't know really much about it, I haven't explored it at all, so we are going to be exploring the city together, um, I think it might have a gym, gym whether it's open or not is a different question. Um, um, and then we're also going to focus on trying to catch at least one or two more Pokemon to add to our team. Um, so you guys have something to rename and also so we can kind of, uh, you know, further our Pokédex. Because we're already like past, we're already like 12 episodes in or something like that. And we've only got uh, like six Pokemon, one of which we're not even using because it's just like, it's a Pachirisu. Who really cares about a Pachirisu? But uh, yeah, we're, let's start off by the Pokemon Center. We're going to start off exploring here. Let's actually talk to people as well. Uh, we got Zeb. Miltank got a thousand uses, kiddo. That's, uh, that's why y'all need we guys around. Okay, god, this is hard to read. Without us, where y'all gonna get your milk and leather, hmm? Uh, okay. See, that started off really wrong. When he said you got a thousand uses, I was getting some weird, weird, like, bestiality vibes. I don't know. Um, what are we gonna say with this guy? Oh, this guy's just a healer. Okay, sure. Um, I'm gonna shopkeeper here. What do they sell? Hopefully they sell some cool stuff, but I don't, I don't really know. Uh, what do we got? Uh, Moo Moo Milk. So they don't have Ultra Balls here. They do have Friend Balls. Moo Moo Milk, Heal Powder, da 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 Okay. Cool, 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 cool. How much money do we have? Oh, we got like 4.7k, so we can buy some Pokeballs if we need them, but we got a decent amount to begin with. Also, these stairs are so cool. Oh my god. Um, okay, we got another shop Pokeball. What do they sell? Oh, TMs. Okay, some of these are way out of our price range. Dragon Breath. It's pretty cool. Uh, Water Pulse, Bullet Seed. Okay, they're all right for now. Um, hello. What do you got going on over here? Oh, holy shit. That person just ran so fast. Okay. <laughs> um, I've seen a documentary about the Savannah and now one of Shinx, but a ranger told me it would be environmentally irresponsible. That's so unfair. <laughs> okay. Dude, this guy just like sprinted out of here. What's going on? I mean, we can battle these trainers. Uh, we got a PG, a level 40 PG. We can just uh, body slam. A level 40 PG. That's, that's pretty... Oh, that's weird for a PG to be level 40. Holy crap. Oh my god, this gold bat like one shot me basically. Okay. Okay. Whatever you say. Uh Lenachade. Okay. I'm sorry, everyone's gonna die. Knock off. Super effective. Um Um You know what's gonna happen actually? Ooh, actually, okay. I have to I have to actually do this. End battle. I have to end the battle so we don't lose the battle. Um just because I forgot I haven't set a um what do you call it? A safe place. Um, save place, add, and we were going to end up teleporting all the way back to, um, I think either Archtown or, uh, what's closer? I think Archtown is closest. Um, so we're actually really far away on the map, and we're actually on, I think, I'm pretty sure it's an island. Um, so if we want to go back to Archtown, I'm going to have to cut the video. I'm not sure whether or not we're going to be doing that yet. It depends kind of like how much we get done over here and, um, how much we fill up the episode. This episode's also going to be a bit of a short one. Um, I'm kind of putting this video together, uh, after the stream that I did. I've been streaming a lot lately, which means videos has been kind of, uh, short for time. Uh, I think the previous video I did, the Subnautica video, it was like 15 minutes long. This one's going to be about 15 minutes long as well. Um, just so we can kind of show off, um, this town. And also because, uh, if you guys haven't noticed, I mean, uh, Slime Rancher and Subnautica have been doing, you know, so-so for a while. Um, that's to be expected. They're a completely new series and I pretty much have very little fans at this point just because they're all, uh, inactive. Because they were mostly from Pixelmon and then I stopped doing Pixelmon, so then all the Pixelmon fans left. And then I started doing Pixelmon again, so then some of them are here, but most of them are gone and, yeah, it's a whole big mess. Um, I expect a soul rending agony, but it's just, it, but it just tickles, okay. <laughs> um... We guys have a market here. Anyway, so, and now Pixelmon isn't doing too well, especially I think because the Pixelmon mod is gone. Um, it's losing some interest in the public. So, um, a lot of my channel is kind of doing a bit, of, a little bit eh. And uh, streaming has been a lot of fun lately. So YouTube's been kind of taking a little bit of a backseat to streaming. But at the same time, YouTube is still my main thing. And it's where I have most of my fans. And I'm going to be working on, I think, I have a big project in mind. What does this guy say? Um, welcome to Ripple Monk. I hope you enjoy your fresh elixir. I'm good. I've got some, 
I've got some, I've got a big project in mind, like a video series that it would take like, it would take a couple weeks to make one video. Um, and I've got something in mind and I have to kind of plan it out for ages, do a bunch of research and it's going to be, it's going to be a big video or big video series. It's a, it's a video on, I don't know, I don't want to give too much away and I don't want to really hype you guys too much for it because there's a chance it just won't happen. But I don't know, it's potentially like I'm going to try and start doing bigger projects like that while doing my daily Let's Plays. So we can maybe kind of build the channel a little bit. Uh, if you need bread, come to my bakery. I get all my ingredients from the local market. Um, what does this guy say? I heard about Ripple City Produce Market while I was in Kanto. I just had to come visit. Look at the amount of detail and like all the NPCs and all the houses and stuff like that. Like this is so cool. Um, I just want to give another big shout out to B, the builder for this series. She's just, I think she's just having a ball building so much. And it's so fun to just walk around and kind of explore these towns. Um, Kyogre is a legendary Pokemon of this town. It went on a rampage long ago, but this town wasn't destroyed. No one knows why Kyogre chose not to destroy this town. Some think it was because Latios and Latias stopped it before realizing Ripple City was still standing. Interesting, okay. Um, so there's like some lore to do with the legendaries like... Um, Tanker Town had some lore with Latios and Latias. This town's got a little bit of lore with Kyogre and how it nearly destroyed it. Um, Grace, I need to return home or I'm going to miss my, my little pony tart. That's nice. I like that. That's funny. Um, and then my friends are going to spoil it before I can watch a rerun. Okay. Um, I wonder why my chauffeur, where, where my chauffeur is. He left with the car minutes ago. I cannot possibly stand around in these shoes for much longer. Okay. Whatever you say. God, high maintenance. Am I right? Um, okay, so we got nothing up here. We just got a bed. I mean so much furniture. It all looks so nice. Every house is so detailed. I love it Um, okay, so where are we going next? Whose house is this? Um, oh, there's no one who lives here. It's just an empty house. Okay, what about in this chest? There's nothing. I was gonna steal some stuff Um, okay. Also the NPC for today We're only gonna have one NPC because unfortunately we didn't reach a hundred likes as I said the series is kind of dwindling a little bit because Pixelmon uh, is not as popular as it used to be and especially like the Pixelmon popula popularity is going to go down a little bit. Um, but if you guys really enjoy the series, you want to make sure it thrives, um, don't forget to leave a like. We're always going to be aiming for 100 likes because I think it's definitely possible whether we get there or not is based on you guys. Um, and remember, if we get 100 likes, we do two NPCs in the next episode. So unfortunately, this episode is only going to have the one NPC, but we're going to have them the first NPC in Ripple City, which I think is going to be pretty cool. Can I be of service? Sigh. Yes, well, I'm kind of busy. Make up your mind and buy something, okay? What? How is, what do you mean buy something? Is this a store? What are you talking about? Buy something. Can I be a server? Just, what? Uh, uh, okay. I'm gonna... I'm just gonna leave you be over there. Um, what else we got? We got, um, we got the whole beach area over here. I think we've got the docks over here, and this is pretty much how you get in and out of Ripple City, is from the docks. Um, because as I said, I'm pretty sure it's an island. I can even check out here. Yeah, it looks like an island. So... Um, you pretty much need the docks to get in and out of Ripple City. Um, this PM makes seeing the sunset so easy. The view is gorgeous. That is perfect timing, actually. Because we're watching the sunset while we make it to the pier. Um, what does this guy say? I want to see Kyogre. <laughs> it's just a sad face. I want to see Kyogre. Um, let's check out this boat real quick. I don't think there's anything on it. Okay, we should probably not turn that one on. Ah! Oh! Oh, we're filling the water. Oh, no. That's not a good idea. All right. There's still so many houses for us to check out, and I, I'm not sure if there's a gym, but if there is a gym, or if there's not a gym, there will be a gym in Ripple City. Um, Ripple City will be our next gym, I believe, or it'll be... It will be a gym at some point, if there's not a gym here. I'm not too sure. Okay, we've checked out that house. Let's go over here. Y'all city... Oh my god, what is with these, like... The, the way these people speak sometimes. Y'all city folks like tans, do ya? Come work with me on the ranch, Junior. Gonna give you some colors. <laughs> okay. Um, no, I won't give you a demonstration. Psychic powers or a gift best used responsibly. Not as a party trick. Okay, then. Very serious psychic guy. Um, what do we got over here? So, what is this sign? Oh, we got a library. It looks like a library. Oh, wow. And there's a Starly in here. Okay. Hopefully that wasn't your pet Starly because he's gone now. Welcome to my bookshop. See anything you like, give me a holler. Uh, I've got text dating back a hundred years. I feel like holler is not a word that an old man in a suit would be using, like, give me a holler. Like, it just sounds, sounds weird. Um, okay, we got a chest here, but I can't, I can't get into it. So I feel like I don't want to break some of the bookshelves to get into a chest. Um, there is a lot of books here. Um, it's a little bit daunting. I'm not much of a reader, so, you know, I'm going to go out and catch some um, Pokemon and stuff, and, and you stay here with all of your books. Um, okay, let's close that one. Where else have we got? Oh, we got a big Kyogre statue. Just commemorating the whole Kyogre incident that apparently happened. Um, we've got a little bar over here. Oh, it's like a restaurant. This is so cool. Um, okay, that's a trainer. 
Andern, what do you got to say? Uh, I heard the food here is great. Okay. Um, is it great? Oh my god, there's even more. There's a whole outside area. We've got Fionn. Fionn says, Ripple City is amazing. Um, okay. Wow, look at all these chairs. Like, this is so detailed. Oh, speaking of which, someone said in the comments, oh, you better be, like, releasing a, a world save at the end of the series. Don't worry. We definitely will be releasing uh, this world save for you guys to use yourself um, when the series ends because we want to make sure that once the series ends, the map doesn't die because obviously you can tell all of all of this effort that's been put into the map. Um, my cooking is so fabulous, even the smoke alarm cheers me on. Okay. <laughs> um, gourmet cook, if you're not the one cooking, stay out of the way and compliment the chef. Will do. Um, yeah, this whole, like, even just like a kitchen. There must be so much time that's just spent on building this kitchen. It's so awesome. Alrighty, let's head out of here. We've got like a little alarm. Can I... Oh god, I made it ring. Okay, so... Ooh, 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 ooh. That's so loud. Oh my god. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry for interrupting your meals. Um, wow, that is really, really loud. <laughs> um, Gardener, hello there. How are you liking Ripple City? Take a look at my flowers. If you'd like one or two, let me know, okay? Wait, you just give me your flowers. How are you supposed to be making money? You should be selling me the flowers. You're just gonna give them to me. That seems way too easy. Um, I wanted to catch a Pokemon, but this town's so big. Where's the entrance to this? Is this a... Oh, it's like a little... Welcome to my bakery, interested in anything. Ah, okay, so you're not supposed to actually be able to go in there. There's no door. Well, unless I missed it and I'm completely retarded. Um, what's over here? Ooh, this one looks interesting. Oh, this is the gym. Ooh, play me. Wait, wait, what? What'd I do? Spooky. Um, what do we got? Welcome to the Ripple City Gym. The gym here is a dark type gym with many trainers having dual type Pokemon, so don't think this will be easy. Ooh, I don't know. I think we should save the gym for next episode. Oh, there's a little enchanting table. Oh, it's play playing music. All right, we're gonna we're gonna get out of there. Um, yeah, I think we need to catch at least one more Pokemon. Maybe train, especially if they have dual. Oh my God, this music is still playing. How do I turn the? Got I'm gonna go turn the music off. Ah, what are you playing music for me? Uh, I want to do a little bit of training just before. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna keep this music disc. It's mine now. Um, yeah, just because they said the Dark Type Gym has like dual t dual Pokemon, so I think maybe just having Auto might not be that great. So we should definitely train some other Pokemon. Like this level 47 Zangoose, so we can train our Shadow on it. Maybe even get a Haunter this episode. That'd be so cool. Um, quick Attack. Okay, that doesn't do much damage. Seed Bomb. Go, go. Seed Bomb. Go. Oh my god, that was one hit. Okay, level 51, 27, 28, 29, 30. Shadow Ball is 80. Lick. Oh, get rid of Lick. We got two balls. Take uh, two bones. <gasps> yes, we got a Haunter. Ooh, I thought it was soon. I thought the Haunter evolution had to be soon. Um, and then we could maybe even get Machoke this episode. Just work on evolving our Pokemon. But the Haunter is going to be so good. I think the rule that we will make for like trading Pokemon like Haunter and like Machamp and uh, Poliwrath, if we want Poliwrath, although I'll... Okay, I'll just say now, I'm, I'm planning on getting a Poly Toad. Um, so we've we got to get a King's Rock uh, item. But um, yeah, I think the plan's going to be once they hit level 50, we will manually evolve them. So you just do like, uh, there's a command to like manually evolve traded Pokemon, which we're going to have to do because obviously this is single player and we can't trade them. Um, so yeah, once they're level 50, then we will manually evolve them. Which I think 50 is a pretty high level. Not many Pokemon evolve after level 50. Like Dragonite and stuff like that. They all evolve like level 52 or something like that. And that's the highest level you're going to find evolutions at. So I think that's pretty fair. Um, okay, let's go see if we can catch a Pokemon before this episode is over. Um, and maybe even train Armstrong just a little bit. What level are you? Oh, yeah, 17. If we find something high level. Hyper Potion. Nice. If we find something high level we're going to train on. If we find something cool, we're going to catch it. It is nighttime, so it does make it very dark. Um, okay, hopefully there's some cool Pokemon on this island. Ooh, Crawdon. Can we train on that? Can we train on that? Hell yeah, I mean, it's a 32, so it's not going to give us that much experience. Um, but it'll be like a one-hit kill, so that'll make it pretty easy. You know what we might do, actually? Right now, ooh, Wake Up Slap. Um, low sweep, sure. Uh, take all of those. What we're going to do right now is we're going to rename our Poliwag. Uh, a few people gave a lot of awesome renames. Uh, Rohan Sankar gave us like five. Um, Dipsip gave us like a bunch as well. But I actually went with someone uh, different this episode. Someone who's been around throughout like pretty much all of my Pixelmon seasons. Been around for ages. Congratulations, Messi EK. You gave me the name uh, Naveen because it was like the queen of... The queen of something. 
uh, it was like this cool name that had a cool reason, um, but only if we make uh, Poliwag a Politoad. So we're actually going to be making a Politoad from our Poliwag. I thought it was good because I don't know that I've had a Politoad in my entire uh, YouTube channel. I don't know. I'm not too sure. And even if I have, I've barely used it. So I think a Politoad to be like one of the main Pokemon we use for this series is going to be pretty awesome. Um, now, what's a ring target? No idea what that is. You know what? I might even Google it right now because I really want to know what that is. Ring target. Pick someone. It seems like it could be a cool item or it could be a useless item. I don't know. I've just never seen it before. Negates type immunities on the holder. Oh, that's pretty cool. Um, it does not affect immunities caused by abilities or other held items. Okay, well, we may as well just put it on something. Like, we may as well put it on, like, Haunter. So we can't be, like, attacked by a psychic type or something like that. Um, well, it can be attacked. It just won't do much. It won't do super effective amounts. Um, okay. So... I don't want a Zubat. Why would I want to catch a Zubat? Um, ooh, Chimeko. We could catch a Chimeko. That'd be pretty cool. I like Chimekos. Um, can I suck a punch? Super effective. Oh, God. Okay. Suck a punch. Hey, baby. Oh, this is going to be easy. And you're dead. You didn't even get to put him to sleep. Okay. You know Hypnosis. Perfect. Oh, you avoided it. No, no, no. Hypnosis. Hypnosis. Oh, my God. Come on. You know Sleep Powder or something? Hypnosis! Everyone knows Hypnosis! This is great! Yes! Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. My Chimeko. This Chimeko is mine. He cannot escape me this time. Yes, he can. Apparently, he can escape me. Alright. Now he can't escape me when I throw out my Ultra Ball. This Chimeko is mine! <laughs> and... Oh my god, you broke free. Are you kidding me? I don't even have that many. You know what? Let's just add a great ball. Why not? We got so many Pokeballs. We're just going to send them all out. We're going to catch this Chimeko. I want to make sure I definitely catch this Chimeko. Okay, it looks like this episode is actually going to be a normal length episode. I'm managing to get to like 20 minutes. Um, okay. Throw out the great ball. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Chimeko, why are you so hard, difficult to catch? Holy crap. Can you not? Can you not, please? Great ball. Go, go, go. Go, 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 go. Oh my god. He's seriously going to waste all my Pokeballs. I don't mind because we can buy some more pretty easily later on. And we have caught some Pokemon already throughout the series. Oh my god, he's seriously... Why? Since when is Chimeko this difficult to catch? Chimeko catch rate. I'm going to Google it. Why is it so difficult? What? What? Okay, we're going to waste all of our Ultra Balls. We'll see what's going on. I mean, it's not asleep anymore, but it should still be like 29 that's got like no health. After we send a million Ultra Balls out. Uh, catch rate 45, 5.9%. So Ultra Ball is like 1.5, I think, or even two. And then it's low health, so that should easily make it more. I mean, I feel at this point, statistically, we should have caught it. I'm feeling we should have like a 20% catch rate. Oh my God. And we've sent out at least like eight Pokeballs or something like that. You know, I'm going to send them all out. It's fine. We send as many as it takes to catch this Chimeko. He's not getting away from me. He's being tough, but we're going to get him. He keeps wiggling three times now. It's duking me. This Chimeko is trolling me so hard. Two, three, and he broke free. Hey, Otto, please don't die, Otto, because then I'm going to waste all of these Pokeballs for nothing. This Chimeko is going to get away. I can't even see where the Pokeball is. Oh, my God, please, please. Oh, my God, I'm so sad. I'm so sad. Please, please, please. Please, please, oh, you're joking. You're tilting me so much. What is this Chimeko doing? He's just playing games with me. How is this going through so many Pokeballs? Oh my God. That's all my Ultra Balls and all my Great Balls wasted on one Pokemon. See, this is what I'm talking about. I feel like this series has been so difficult to catch Pokemon for some reason. I don't know why. They just won't get caught. I don't know if there's some, like, setting that I accidentally changed to make it, like, 100% harder to catch Pokemon. But we've had an issue throughout the entire series for catching Pokemon. And now, a Chimeko shouldn't really be that difficult. It's like we're trying to catch, like, a Beldum or a Legendary or something, and it's not happening. This is a Chimeko, okay? And we're about to die as well. And that's all of our Pokeballs pretty much gone. Oh... Uh... Oh my god. Yep, we blacked out. Alright. So, the code word for today is going to be basically the same as a rename, 
the code word and the rename is the same thing. What would you guys have renamed the Chimeco if we had caught it? If it wasn't being super, super difficult. Crazy, dumb, difficult. Give me any rename you want for the Chimeco that we don't actually have. But what would we have called it? Or what would you have called it if we had actually caught it? Um, and lastly, we've got to, we've got to do this NPC real quick. Um, let's see. Um, where should we put this NPC? Probably in the market. I think the market's a good area to put an NPC. So we'll put him right here. He's going to be looking at um, whatever produce is available each day. And uh, it's actually someone who comes by my stream a lot. i got to make sure I get this right. I might actually copy and paste it. Um, just so I don't screw something up. Um, but it is someone who comes to my streams. He's a recent sub on my streams. It is Fallon. Mr. Fallon himself. Um, hopefully this works. Please work. Please work. Please work. Yeah. Alrighty. Um, so we'll just get rid of the weird eyes that are all glitchy. Um, so yeah, thank you so much, Fallon. You're a big supporter of my stream. You're one of my latest subs. Um, you, I see you on the stream all the time. I see you on my Discord. And I see you on my videos. Here is your NPC. Thank you so much. I did kind of, I still pick my NPCs at random. Um, and I kind of chose this and I was like, oh, wait a minute, that's Fallon. Like, I don't know who that is, so thought I'd give you a little bit extra thank you as well. So, um, if you guys want to see my streams, there's a link in the description below. Join my Discord as well while you're at it. We have talks all the time. We're constantly active and talking. Um, I've been streaming nearly every day, so I'd love for you guys to be able to come on down. I've been playing Minecraft, I've been playing League of Legends, and uh, maybe some other stuff down the line. But yeah, that's the end of today's episode. Hopefully you guys liked it. Next episode, we will be getting more into training and evolving our Pokemon, um, and then eventually tackling the Ripple City Dark, uh, Dark Gym. And... Uh, getting our second gym badge, which I think is going to be awesome. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.